Elliot Spitzer steps down after being caught in a sex scandal, and we're asking people today, is it any of our business? Is it any of our business what a politician does on their private time? I don't know how much of it was his private time, but um, if you elect an official, once you go across that line, yeah. Not necessarily. I think it just every situation is different, and it just depends on the situation. It depending on depending on the way the person is representing themselves. I think it matters. Why is it our business? Because it's always if you're if you're in politics, it's it's always our business. It's always a uh, public uh, business. You know. Now, should he have been asked to resign? Um, I guess I could say yes, because. When you're in that particular status, there's a way you have to represent yourself. Because he's where he is, as a what was he a governor? Mm -hmm. I think that um, he should he should retire. I don't think he should give up his. Uh, he should resign until more is known about the situation. Why? Because it's not right. You know, he say he's a political appointee. Mm -hmm. He should be able to lose his job doing something that's incorrect. I think it depends on where the money was coming from. In general, when a politician is caught in a sex scandal, is is that something that affects their job? Um, I think it. I think it is. Yeah, because um, it's showing up that you know he can't be trusted. If you're not representing yourself according to what that particular job you know entails, then I think yes, you should have to resign, and I think that applies to anything. We've asked people, and yes, sex is our business, especially in the case of a public official. For 630 WMAL Street Talk, I'm Jen Richer.